In a comment on my last video, from someone who is anti-fascist and clearly supports replacing capitalism with socialism by force, all it took was me seeing the phrase, fascism is capitalism in decay, in conjunction with an argument for the dismantlement of capitalism, Western civilization, and all of the systems that are associated with it, for me to start connecting some dots that I hadn't previously. Now, fascism is capitalism in decay was originally said by Vladimir Lenin. And I've seen that phrase before, but I hadn't really considered that people seriously considered that in 2023. I also hadn't considered that many people who consider themselves Antifa use that as a judge as to whether something is fascist. Yeah, I just didn't think that it was just an issue for, for some people that if, the, if we perceive capitalism as being in decay or declining or, or it's in its last throes or whatever, you know, if we, if we see this, that, you know, it automatically becomes fascism. I just hadn't considered that people thought that way. So I started looking more into that kind of mindset. I mean, perhaps one could say that capitalism really is in decline or is decaying. We certainly have a lot of problems. The rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer. Healthcare isn't available to everyone, at least not without costs that are beyond people's ability to pay. Homelessness is rising in a way I could have never imagined. Shoplifting like I've never seen, like when I go into Fred Meyer or Walgreens or something. There, there's tons of items they have locked up, like makeup and deodorant and stuff. But, uh, you know, then inflation and the cost of, of food and necessities has gone through the roof. Corporations are treated as people, they're citizens united. There are so many things that are messed up. But does that mean that this stuff can't be fixed? Are we really at a point of no return? Is capitalism simply working the way it was designed and no amount of regulations will significantly improve the situation? At what point does capitalism become fascism if we're to define fascism as capitalism in decay? It makes more sense now why the violent among the black bloc Antifa don't really care if they destroy corporate property. And why some don't even care if they destroy small businesses. Because those small businesses are still supporting capitalism, which they consider an oppressive fascist force. And they assume insurance will cover it. If you want to stop them in any way from destroying property, you are considered a fascist, like a brown shirt, for apparently caring more about property than human lives. So yes, Antifa is an idea, but that idea seems to be firmly aligned with anti-capitalism, as well as seemingly being against the promotion of any of the cultural norms of the country, as well as being against anything that's remotely traditional. Do you think fascism is capitalism in decay? Have we decayed enough to call it fascism? Do you think that's an absurd way to define fascism? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.